Russian people. I eat my supper. Uh oh, cut that part. See, where am I advertising now? Big game, big screens. Dolby Vision. I'm advertising a TV. Yep. No, it's. Call of Duty. Okay, okay, go. Uh, LS. Chipper. Carol. LS. This is a, this is a, not jalapeno pepper. Lucky. I was gonna like make y'all wait for me and finish eating my supper, but LS got all bossy. Y'all see, I just have to deal with watching me eat beans. Oh, already got the circle of death. I clicked the link or went to a web page and my all my Google stuff refreshed and now everything's running slow. Why shouldn't have done that? Let's prep our food. Was that wrapping again? Prepper food, beans. Can you see those? I agree with my garden. Hey, smelly, smell low. Okay. okay, why is this one warm? Uh, Baby Burton. We actually have a good subject better than what I was thinking on. Uh, the title of the video is actually what we're going to talk about. Sort of ish. There's one channel in particular I'd really like to call out for the Doomer point he's doing lately, but man, this guy's got hundreds of thousands of subscribers. There's no way I'm gonna like talk bad about him. <laughs> if anybody in here has not gone and watched, uh, Searching for the swamp monster or whatever, swamp creature, whatever that river that I can't say the name of, can't spell it, that's for sure. On oh, smoking local, that I'm serious, that's like that's the coolest video I've watched all year. The end, uh, I've shared it everywhere I could share a video so. There's Stipper. Stipper, Chipper. I was thinking thumbs up and Chipper. I'm trying to say Chipper. Sorry about that, but No, I'm serious. Oh, I was just like, and I'm going to watch it again because I think I missed my count on the gar. I completely lost track of the bath. I only saw three catfish. And I don't know what those little bitty fish were, but I didn't even try to count those. Did the cigarette lighter work? I have to ask. And was that your cap or somebody else's cap? I have to ask.
Itchituckney, Itchituckney, Itchituckney River. Here, the Zoom hunt. All right. Anyway, I didn't want to be starving while I was talking to y'all. I've been working on these beans all day. I didn't get them on the stove quick enough, though. So they didn't get ready until right at time for this. I should be this. This will hold me over. I don't have to eat all of them. I can finish eating later. Mm, so good, though. Um, huh? The bad bag. I go for this. How is everybody feeling this morning? And do you itch? Itch a tuck me. Itch a tuck me. Uh, did you itch after you got out of the water? As I know, I saw crabs in there. Ah. We're at the magic number. It's 11. <coughs> <coughs> Because uh, this might take a while to get through. This is actually, uh, that is the most annoying little blue flag I've ever seen in my life. I know. Y'all are taking away our way of communicating directly with each other. After I do my little spiel or whatever, I might send out a few invites. So, um, uh, might, depending on how long I feel like staying on here. Ooh, this one fills up. I've been edited in. So, anyway, um, all right, LS. Well, here we go. We're going to get this started. Um, uh, the end is here, not, um, there are, and I'm, Hold on, let me see. I gotta scroll down so I can say the word. Can't read the word without scrolling down. Uh there is a difference between several of the situational nomenclatures that are used, and they are often used with a very broad brush. to instill fear and panic and stuff like that. So we need to we need to we need to narrow down what certain phrases mean. Okay. The end like the biblical end, like if we're gonna go biblical, the end of days, like the end is near. Biblically speaking, the end is the end. Yeah, that's right. There's no more flesh. It's not the end of the world as we know it. It's over with. There's all kinds of stuff that happened before that gets here. Yeah. Even even after Tiawaki. Oh, wait. Tiawaki is not the end of the world? No. Tiawaki is the end of the world as we know it. Tiawaki is not... Hold on, I wrote this down because I didn't want to get this wrong is not a small local emergency it is an event that throws all of us back into a brutal 
survivalist or survival existence. No. Just because your girlfriend breaks up with you does not it's not the end of the world as you know it. It's the end of your relationship. All right. Now, if you were living with her in her apartment under her lease name and she kicks you to the curb, the S done hit the fan. Pretty sure, because now you scrambling, you got to find some place to live. See the difference? See the level? Okay. It's in levels. There's a lot of people pushing potential SHTF scenarios as Tiawaki scenarios. No. The Great Depression was not Tiawaki. It was a major SHTF, but it was not Tiawaki. Progress continued. Uh, technology continued to increase. Things slowed down, but they continued to happen. The world moved on. It was not to you up. Okay. Everybody with me so far? Hello, North Michigan. I must have missed somebody. Uh, roll this up a bit. Okay, they're talking foreign languages. Uh, oh, North Michigan. Hello, how are, how are you doing? Hey, Yoda. Oh. Uh, I love your name, but I can't say it on here, man. I get flagged. Uh, Where was that for Red Yoda? Oh. Let me think some other like a a, a as bad as it was, uh Katrina and uh New Orleans and the Louis you know, Southern Louisiana coast and all that. That was just a SHTF. It's pretty good, but it wasn't. Milwaukee. Now, for some things trapped in the zoo, yeah, it was the end of the world, but, uh, you know, the thing about it is we don't gauge the end of the world as we know it on what it does to critters trapped in a zoo or pets in a pet store or, you know, cows, horses, dogs, um, which I'm not sure they ever come up with a total count for the amount, number of uh, domesticated animals that died in that. It was a lot. And then you had the one that hit the Atlantic coast. And anyway, those are still just localized SHTFs. Because it can recover. Now, if enough SHTFs happen, then the, you could slide into a Tiawaki. But, you know, even if it's a 10 or 20 year turnaround, still not sure it would be Tiawaki. Tiawaki is the end of the world as we know it. It means we will never see it again. The end of what we know. Tiawaki is a harsh place to be. Okay. Uh, this thing going on which is a major concern for all of those living and breathing over in the Middle East right now are the things. Even if they go full blown, it's still not going to be Tiawaki. Not if you address this from 
any kind of a biblical standpoint. The there's nothing mankind can do to cause the apocalypse. Mankind isn't going to be used to cause the apocalypse. When the, the stuff starts happening that makes everybody realize that it's the end, we're not going to guess at who caused it. We're not going to point fingers at it at other countries and go they caused the end of the world no it, we will be oh god caused the end of the world as we know and that's still not the end okay to see the difference um there are a lot of potential scenarios all over the globe take my glasses off because who said what? I'm leaving my glasses on. Oh. That gummit. You're funny, little sister. Ah. <clears throat> there are a lot of different things going on that have the potential to cause widespread SHTS. And if enough of them happen, it's going to cause other ones to happen. And it's going to be worldwide SHTF. That's still not Tiawaki. Okay. SHTF is relatively easy to get ready for there's nothing you can do to survive Tiawaki Tiawaki is going to be luck okay or surviving in the Tiawaki is going to be luck now if you have prepared for a major SHTF scenario, a long-term SHTF scenario, and that SHT a wah. If the poop hitting the fan lasts longer than you expected, but you prepared for it, then it turns into Tiawaki because it goes on for so long. Then. You have a leg up on the people that didn't prepare. It's that simple. Now, we all know that in a long-term SHTF, as you know, if there was a 12-month a, a SHTF, global SHTF, there was no more oil coming out of the ground to make the energy work, and it didn't matter if the grid was up or not. There wasn't no way to generate the juice. Okay? People are going to start dying. So, six months into that particular scenario, half the people on the planet are gone. So, yeah, it's going to be really hard to recover from that. All the resources are going to be spent on disposing of bodies and fighting diseases and still trying to fight the silly little wars over the silly little crap in the ground that we don't really need because, you know, if people weren't suing each other all the time over stupid I just glanced down at my coffee cup for a second I run into that wall and my car did not keep me from dying I'm going to sue you Uh, you want, now we have 6,000 pound cars and we're still getting 25 miles to the gallon because somebody couldn't drive their car without looking at the road this is not cool um, anyway, back on target, maybe. Stuff like that, it's going to keep going and keep going and keep going. The people that are prepared, the people that stored up food, the people that stored up water, the people that learn skills, the people that learn to deal without electricity. Yeah. The people that learn to deal without modern 
energy sources. Yeah. Seriously, I mean, uh, you were able to store up three months worth of fuel. This HTF lasts six months. What did you do for yourself? I'm just asking. I'm not saying you shouldn't store up a couple of weeks worth of gas. I guess. Just don't have like six months worth of fuel stored up. <coughs> I uh, do want a diesel truck because, well, I know where there's alternative sources of diesel fuel. Diesel's really not that hard to get. Um, but seriously, quit making it more than it is. Quit making it like every little thing is going to bring on the end of the world as we know it. <gasps> oh my god, did you know that I ran shot down a drone with like missiles? And the whole world's going to end tomorrow now. I guarantee you, by this, it'll save your life. I exaggerated his essence, so I apologize. Um, it's yeah. Don't be that guy. I try not to be that guy. Every once in a while, I do do reform because, well, there's something I think, okay, yeah, we really need to look at this. But I don't say, oh, run out and buy everything. I did one run out and buy stuff one time because they said that the fuel production in Texas was going to stop or whatever. I'm like, oh, when did that happen? <laughs> I missed it. That was, that was my, got a lot of views with that. And then YouTube took it down. That was annoying. Um, Yeah, it's way too after the vacation. There you go. Yes. Uh, you can run diesel off of cooking oil. There are problems you need to have. There's more to it than that. It takes a different filter than for your diesel fuel because the oil is actually heavier. But... Um, Getting diesel out of crude oil is not impossible. Um, so, yeah. And your gasoline thing, they say, well, you can't run drip, and you can't run drip, drip gas in a new vehicle. Anything pre 78, you could probably run drip gas in. I know we did. If you don't know what drip gas is, look it up. Uh, not a chemist. I don't promote alternative fuels like that. I'm wow. just saying it's such a thing. Weapon. Three people in your chat already have a message deleted by you. YouTube's deleting messages. Yeah. Um, what? We're, and we're not going to get to see what they said, huh? What the crap? Are they seriously? If, if you put the word red and neck together as one word, it's booting it, apparently. <laughs> apparently that is a... Um, maybe it's a far-right word is what they're thinking, and so they're banning it. A redneck is not a far-right. Well, what... She keeps saying it where y'all can hear it. They're going to flag the whole video I'm here in sorry. a minute. <laughs> this is my little friend. He's red from the top of his head all the way down to his little butt. His neck is red too. You, my friend, have no voice on YouTube. He's for holding my phone. Or we can say the sunburned neck people. Yeah, the sunburned neck people. 
Oh. You can get away with that. Wow. Somebody type in leftist. Just curious now. Oh. Going to get back on track. Focus more on being ready. I just went through all that. Uh, than trying to figure out whether it's going to be tomorrow or next month. Uh, it, at this point in time, today, right now, at uh, 7.55 Central Mountain Time, it doesn't do me any good to worry about what is going to be going on at 7.55 tomorrow. Okay. Now, if I'm worried about what's going to be going on at 7.55, seven days from now, I can go to the store and get some stuff. If you're the kind of person that's in this chat, you're the kind of person that's aware that there might be a need to do something. There might be a need to be prepared. So why, why are you not getting up and going and getting stuff and putting it up and then learning how to cook the stuff, food, on things other than your $2,000 range or whatever, or your $25 garage sale range. I don't know what you got in the kitchen. But my electricity's off. I guess we're going to have to go to McDonald's. How's that going to work out for you in a hurricane? McDonald's the first thing to get knocked out. Then they take out Burger King. And then it's Popeyes. And then you get the Dunkin' Donuts. They ain't nothing to eat. You're going to have to open a can of SpaghettiOs and heat them up some other way than the microwave. Can you do it? Do you know how to take the SpaghettiOs and put them in the little metal round thingy that goes over the fire that you had to build? Or that comes out of the little propane bottle on the little stove thingy you put on top of it? I mean, I know you've got one in the garage. Because you want to be ready. Have you hooked the bottle up to it, turned it on, and made a pot of rice with it? You might want to find out if it works now. As opposed to the day after tomorrow. That's a horrible movie. Oh, man, I can't... I, these people eat them spaghetti. I keep them in there for them. I can't. I that's like uh. I eat them straight out of can. If I have to, if I ain't got nothing else, if there are no crickets left, if there are no earthworms left. If I cannot catch a, a rat and chop its head off and boil it, fur on and eat it, I'll go get me some spaghetti. Oh, uh, I hope people eat. That. Not fade, by the way. I mean, ramen noodles are pretty good, but SpaghettiOs is. Yes, you know, well, I'll put SpaghettiOs above them beefaroni things. Whoa. Seriously, the guy that eats bugs and picks rotten food up off the ground, who will go and eat out of a dumpster? Has a trouble chewing and swallowing raviolis. So did uh, that leftist is coming through. It's just funny. They were holding redneck hostage. Wow. Well, I guess if we're not allowed to say figs, 
did my stream stop somebody type in figs just curious okay uh if we're not allowed to say that then maybe the people who are complaining about figs shouldn't be allowed to or shouldn't have to hear or shouldn't be allowed to use words like redneck hillbilly or whatever if a channel puts out multiple videos over the same topic all of them designed to support his previous video on how something's going to pan out or the ulterior motives of the government entities and yada 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 uh, chances are he's doing it for the views and he's not really trying to help out or she you can say figs well huh? cool you can't wear it on your shirt I'm in, now I'm risking it. Killdeer, C103. Who else have I missed sneaking in your dad on YouTube? <laughs> dad knows what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. There you go. There we go. Our 3D deck. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, seriously, I mean, what did Christ say about it? If you if if you see it coming, you're going to try and stop it. So, and we're not supposed to stop it. So, we're not going to see it coming. We're not supposed to spend every waking hour worried about continuing our fleshly existence on the planet. Now, why are we? I should have took my glasses off for that, huh? Some of us have more flesh than others. We want to protect them. <laughs> you protect your flesh, but I'm just saying, I mean, if that's all you're worried about is protecting your standing in the way of things on the world, in the world, and continuing to breathe in the world if that's your only concern then you're missing a rather important breath and that's coming from me uh, but seriously I mean here we go again fear not he who can kill the body fear him who can kill the body and cast the soul into, is it perdition? Or hellfire? Or outer darkness? Or which translation would you prefer? Yeah, there's that. I know there's people in here that aren't, that don't go the faith route. Uh, they've been burnt by it here or there. I guarantee you, if you've been burnt by religion, it wasn't by God. It was by a double dollar sign at in the religion. Okay. Uh, That's why only one man has ever been given the authority of God. 
Mm -hmm. We killed him for it. Oh, yeah, they don't. Uh -oh. They're not us, per se, but he died for us. Don't get all my slip of the tongue. Calm down. My, my uh, religious trolls are going to get me now. Here's another one for you religious trolls up there. Anyway. Oh, wow. And see, that's, uh, I had a friend, he was 23, Kim, his girlfriend, and one other person were in a Firebird, they lost control, they flipped it, one of the people made it out of the car. The others, all of them in their early 20s, the other two, both of them in their early 20s died, and the other one is... She's still, this was 15 years ago. She is still trying to get out of the wheelchair. You don't know. You don't know. What do you say? Margaret. Yeah, we're being stupid. Uh, if he comes, you're not gonna care. Those bananas are still green, and you didn't. All right. Where is it? I'm not sure. Uh, Luke 12, 37. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch or in the third watch and find them so blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come in, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. That's the, we can't pick it out, but I'm in Luke. I'm looking for the one where it says that, uh, it's not there. I mean, you're not supposed to worry about what you're going to eat and what you're going to blink. That's more about uh, trying to get rich than anything else. Oh, there it is. But if the serpent says in his heart, my master is delaying his coming and begins to beat the male and the female servants and to eat and drink, and be drunk, the master of that servant will come on that day when he is not looking for him in an hour when he is not aware and will cut him into and appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. 
and that servant who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself or do according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. It says all, I mean, he's talking about doing the master's will, right? And even a portion, you have a portion for seven days. Should you not also set a portion aside for the eighth? You can't take the New Testament and deny the authority it gives the wisdom in the Old Testament. That's what you tell them. The good Lord, the Most High God said that we're supposed to put a portion aside for the eighth day. So you buy the green bananas. The uh, bridesmaids. They didn't have enough. They didn't have oil. They didn't have extra oil for their lamps. They didn't go. They didn't have. They couldn't run and get oil for their lamps after after the man showed up. It was too late. You know, had they had some oil, and I know it's talking about salvation or the returning of Christ or acceptance of your salvation through the Holy Spirit. I know all the all that stuff. Just saying, prudence is prudent. It tells us to be sober all through the Old and the New Testament. To be sober. To is it actually sober thinking? clear-headedness to believe that magically because hard times are coming that Jesus is going to say all you believers come up to heaven right now and I'll just let all them heathens down there get tortured the devil don't want to torture the heathens how's anybody going to be persecuted for Jesus's name if they all get sucked up to heaven don't go with the 144,000 because they don't get to come down until later. And who got me? Smolo, you and LS are working together. I'm talking to you. Ah, uh, but y'all follow me on that? I mean, don't buy green, but I've, I've heard that before. That's. Uh, CLC right there. I said it out loud, but it's not all CLCs. Rob's church has has uh, quite a few green banana buyers. Isn't it? That's the beauty of it. A lot of the doctrines and stuff that were taught by lay preachers back in the day, you know, they would pick preachers and ordain them and send them out that had the ability to read in a basic understanding of the Bible. They would teach, they would give them an outline of a doctrine ordain them and send them out to start churches and over the years really hardcore beliefs and doctrines were formed in these churches by less than scholarly people i do not mean any disrespect because they did what they thought was right in the service of the Lord 
and they built a giant church for God. You know, if you take and apply all the people of all the different shaped steeples or whatever and put them together, they did a great work. But they got some of the stuff wrong. As the churches mature, we're in a... People have started calling it a renewal. I don't think it's a renewal. I think because of education and the availability of research tools and the wounding of the language barriers, if you will, it is getting easier for guys like me and others to realize that some of the doctrines we were raised with were doctrines of men, not doctrines of God. And they're changing. Churches are changing. We've got to be careful, though, because some of the doctrines are changing for the worse. Some of them are changing for the A lot of them are changing for the better. Um, this was. This is not Tuesday night Bible study. What do y'all want to talk about? That the Jesus will save us that it is going to cause a lot of people to die and go hungry. There's going to be a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth. That was Wayne. Uh, yeah, y'all gonna keep it up. I'm gonna start talking about golf or something. I don't even golf. I'm not allowed to golf. I'm not allowed on the golf course. You can go get that Oh, y'all wanna see some beans? Which is, I can magically make beer. Beer? Hey, well, you're in there. Uh, beans appear out of nowhere. I don't even have to go anywhere. They'll just magically walk in here. Um, shot a 95 last week. What do old man do to you? This is just half a dozen. Oh. <laughs> you want to see what half a dozen green beans look like? Hold on. <laughs> That's one being Longest one was about three foot. Yeah, about three foot. They delicious too. And I didn't finish eating my supper and I got a salad in front of me. I put them right there. I promise I won't eat them. They're delicious. They really are. Uh, they're good. What they, uh, what they call? If uh, your bronies in here, he sent me the seeds. Uh, Asian long bean or something. They, they're like crazy. You know, they don't make as many beans per plant, but you don't need them. Um, Started talking about golf and all that stuff, man. I wouldn't know what to tell you about golf other than the fact that I'm not allowed on the field because apparently golf cart races are not allowed. Who would have thought? Apparently, there's some kind of places you can drive and some you can't, and wide open bumper car type behavior is not allowed. Some lame crap like that. I don't remember what it was now. Uh, we talk about fishing and the fact that I've talked myself out of going fishing three days in a row. Probably need to go to the doctor about that. Yeah, four boat truck, four is ain't exactly loud out there either. Who oh, some guy tore the golf, uh, and I was working at the country club remodeling it. And some guy took his four-wheel drive uh, across the corner of the golf course and tore up the ninth hole.
I like the bass fish Yoda, but i have seriously I've never caught the bug for it. Uh, I fish for food and fun. I've been known to catch and release some. Uh, for a new prepper who wants to be serious about getting ready, who but doesn't want be consumed where do you re recommend starting uh the for a new prepper the first thing they should do is subscribe to my channel because i'm like the smartest person ever and i'll tell you exactly what you need to do uh get food and water no um seriously Worldly or spiritually, first thing the first thing anybody needs to do, there we go back to spiritual, get right with God. Second, it's simple. It's food. Don't develop a bug out plan until you have the ability to survive two weeks in your own home. It could be as simple. I mean, if okay, here's a scenario for you. It's a very possible not probable, but possible scenario that there is a nuclear confrontation between international parties. And we wind up with radioactive snowflakes, little tiny pieces of leftists falling all over the world. Because it'll be big cities. So, yeah, get that connection. If you don't have the ability to stay in your house without going outside for two weeks after that snow starts falling <coughs> in 80% of the country, two weeks, you're going to die of radiation poison. On the other hand of it, if you can stay in your house two weeks in 80% of the country, two weeks, you can leave your house without risking dying. Not all day. That's why they all, that's why it was always have two weeks worth of groceries and what food and water stores. Have two weeks worth of food and water stores. I recommend four at the very least. But seriously, if you're a new prepper, you don't want to be consumed by it. All you need is more corn and green beans than you can eat in a week. I'll take some pictures of our regular cupboard. Nobody make fun of my redneck hillbilly farmhouse 19. Don't say that word, remember? Oops, sorry. <laughs> 1940s pantry. It works. Fine. Thought about redoing it once and I realized why? <laughs> it's been all the groceries for 60, 70 years. Well, I'll change it now. Uh, See, kill deer. There you go. Where did that? What did uh, Leah do with my fishing game? You can get a video game, or you used to be able to, and you can go fishing with it. It's got vibration and tension on the crank and everything, man. It's so cool. My granddaughter keeps stealing it. She really likes to fish. Evidently. Hey, North Point. Um, I'm going to light a different one. I haven't gotten to smoke this show. It's just gone out every time. Wait a minute. I have to go get some. Anyhow, who done it? Uh,
I'm avoiding political and stuff like that in case y'all are wondering. Uh, there's too many guys out there doing it. And there's too many channels attacking each other for what they believe and stuff politically and everything. So, yeah, I'm not going to go there anymore. Um, we'll just keep it to the basics, what you need to do. Water's cheap, by the way. You don't have to store bottled water. You can store tap water. It's got enough. If you're living in a city and inside the city limits on a rural water system or anything like that, the water coming out of the tap has enough chlorine in it that you can put it in a bottle, close the lid and set it somewhere and not have to worry about it going bad. You don't have to store, you don't have to go buy bottled water. You can store tap water. If you've got a well, you can store well water. You don't have to buy water to store it. If you're, uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but you can wash milk jugs and get them clean enough to store water. I suggest putting a couple extra drops of bleach in there if you reuse milk jugs. But you can store it in grape juice bottles, apple juice bottle, uh, two liter soda pop bottles. I mean, you can go to the Dollar Tree and get a, a two liter bottle of pop for a dollar. Drink the pop, rinse it out, fill it full of water, set it in the bag and close it. You just got a day's worth of water. Then you got to drink some cheap pop. Like I said, we're not going to do. Uh, any, I'm not going to mouth any conspiracy stuff on this. I'd rather die 20 years from now from drinking contaminated water than die three days from now because I was staring at water because somebody told me it was contaminated. If I drink that water, I'm going to die in 20 years. Some of the stuff out there doesn't even make any sense, even because arsenic is accumulative. Accumulative. Uh, your deck, if your deck is made out of treated lumber, every time you walk across it with bare feet, you get a dose of. everywhere I've uh, that could be a, could explain a lot of things oh, you took your head off? yeah oh, you had it on I, I put I took my hat off earlier I had it on earlier too. Do I look smarter now? Yeah, cyanide. I know I knew it was something. Uh, yeah. Stuff only kills you. Good. I mean, come on. People drink diet sodas. That sweetener has been proven to kill every rat in California, even though they have the black plague and stuff running around from all the rats. Seems like they should just put that uh, those little pink packets all over the place. Get rid of the rat. Oh, that's what I do. Mashed potatoes and gravy give you cancer in California. I like this hat. I started to buy... They had them on sale, and I talked myself out of it. Now I'm kicking myself in the butt because now they're $2 more a hat. 
but they got them in blue, green, and brown. Could have had like different color of all the same hat. Didn't have any camel though. Found that quite disturbing. The blue one actually set the blue off in my eyes really nice. It's quite tempted. Quite tempted. The green made my eyes too green. And it would have been hard for the ladies to concentrate on anything other than my eyes. They wouldn't hurt anything I was saying. So I, that's the reason I think it is. <laughs> Thank you, Chance. All right, David, have a good one. Or see you in a bit. Oh, I forgot, kill deer. I need to kill the camera, huh? You, you quit. No way. Are you the one who quit smoking? Somebody in here quit smoking. Uh, and them, for all you people screaming at me, damn, if they give me a loss, I'm just going to show off. Started today. Started quitting today. I'm not a, I am not sponsored. Uh, this is expensive. Four hundred seventy-five dollars every thirty days. Out. But I've had enough of these things. I don't really smoke them anyway. I just hold them. I try to avoid smoking. Them, but. No, not Xanax. If uh, these things do anything like Xanax or whatever, I'll quit them. I'm remember this the guy in the hat. This this dude is adamantly opposed to conscious this altering drugs. I spent. Uh, from the age of 16 to the age of 25 and beyond periodically using chemicals to change the way I looked at life. Yeah, we take it and we, it worked. We quit for six months. Yeah, we quit for six months. My mom wound up in the hospital. It was really stressful. She was too young to go. Um, I mean, she was one of those, she was active in her little community. She was. She had a, a real good situation going, and then boom, she had an aneurysm. Anyway, after what? The sixth or seventh day at the hospital, we somebody offered us a cigarette. We just went outside to get some fresh air, and somebody offered us a cigarette, and it was reflex. Night, North Point. Tell the missus we said hi. Smoking, uh, make everybody earn the right to call you Smolo. Just 
Just leave it at smoking. Smoking locust is cool though. I like your little cricket thing too. That's cool. Oh. Uh, Smore to your friends. Man. If we get to Swig South, and we've actually got a map with uh, a meat point on it. Um, I'm probably going to call you small out of your face, dude. You should just change it on your birth certificate, brother. Just get it over with. <laughs> That would be cool. Yeah. Gold turkey's the only way to wind up in federal prison, that's for sure. Tried that once. There was blood. Hey, I tried cold turkey, but then everybody was like, let me go get you a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, there was that. I was ready to kill people. Well, you did it that one time and it was... Uh, you made it like two weeks, and that was it. We couldn't stand you anymore. Yeah. There's no freaking way. Yeah, and that's that's it. Uh, we're pretty much the last holes out, hold out. Last time, I mean, everybody was still smoking. This time, most, of, yeah. most people we have dumped. Um, well, if you can do it, I mean, we've tried it. Don't have the, uh, don't have the backbone for it. There you go. Uh, I know a lot of people that smoke that quick cold turkey. And a lot of them say that's the only way to go. And then there's a few of them that confess that three years later, they still love to walk by and smell somebody else's cigarette. The only thing they regret about it is that it makes them want a cigarette. So, um, Nicotine is going to be just like uh, meth or heroin or any other other uh, physically addictive substances. It's going to be one day at a time. That's it. What's that? There you go, C103. Uh, the uh, my brother didn't get cancer until after he quit smoking. It's they always link cigarette smoke to all these different kinds of cancers. They ignore the fact that uh, a lot of the people in the same lines of work smoke. Do, do they look at you know job-related cancers? No, because employers can't afford for them to say, oh, by the way, what you're paying that guy $11 an hour to do is going to cause him to die an early death, an early painful slow death. You know, they can't do that. They, they can't afford that. Yep, we didn't get raptured like uh, like LS said. We, we, we all missed it. We were on this chat room when it happened and we blew it. 
That's the reason, Billy Bird. Well, that and I. Yeah. Oh, my lungs back. I have a pipe up here somewhere. I tried doing the switching over to the pipe. Because, you know, I just hold it. Have something to do with my hands or whatever. And I'll probably, probably do that again. I could get pregnant, I could afford to keep smoking. <laughs> oh, wait, no, some guys already done that, I think. I think it was surgical, though. But before we get completely lost here, is everybody caught up on the difference between SHTF and Tiawaki? Does everybody grasp the concept that it's a different thing? We're not going to prep for Tiawaki, we're prepping for SHTF. However, it might come. One of the things when you're trying to figure out what you need to prep. LS, back to your beginning prepper thing. You need to figure out what it is that you want to keep a hold of. If there's anything outside, you know, basic breathing and stuff, is there anything that you hold as important to your continued existence on the planet? Um, You need to find out what your priorities or your rather your reasons for continuing continuing to exist are and figure out what you need to do to make sure that you can continue with those whatever they are i mean for each person it's going to be different me one of the reasons i prep and one of the things that affects the way i prep i have grandchildren I am young enough, and my two oldest grandchildren are old enough that I have the potential to live long enough to play with my great-grandchildren. So, I prep to keep myself alive. So that I can help keep my children alive and help them keep their grandchildren alive. So even in SHTF and possibly over into Tiawaki, I can play with my great grandkids. That's why I pray. I'm not afraid of leaving this world. There just happens to be a few things in this world left that I would like to experience in the flesh. I'm human. 
I love my kids, love my grandkids more. Sorry, kids. I cannot imagine how I'm going to feel about my great grandkids. I want to feel that. Why? I risk throwing it away because I, I would rather have a 82 inch or whatever flat screen thousand dollar truck and a mortgage on a five hundred thousand dollar home that nobody sleeps in then you know why spend the money on that when I can spend the money on other stuff that will actually allow me to live if something bad happens. I mean, I don't make enough money to have all that stuff. I could probably get the TV if I wanted to, but uh, kind of a waste to have it if you don't have. Uh, what is what is that? Fifty or something like that? Forty-eight? Something? Kids gave to me. I don't even know. Um, I don't even watch TV. I watch I watch Netflix on here. Sometimes me and the wife watch stuff together over there, but it's usually off. Half the time we have to dust the screen off when the grandkids come over so like we can pop a movie in for them or whatever. Uh, we, we don't, we don't host the company here. We are... I'm not a very good housekeeper and I was handed the job and I'm going to get fired pretty soon. I'm sure. Probably not. Probably just beaten with a stick, which I'll deserve. TB causes cancer, brain cancer or something. Uh, besides, I've, I've got Amazon Prime movies and series. Is, is, is. I've got all kinds of stuff I can watch. Yeah. That's that's it. I mean, uh, SHTF is an ice age. Okay. Uh, ice age that moves, you know, that puts a third of Canada back under a glacier. Okay. That's going to change everything. I mean, that's big SHTF. Tiawaki would be the actual poles shifting, not flipping, shifting. And over a period of 10 or 15 years, the earth starts spinning around the Gulf of Mexico. And some other point, I don't know, whatever will be on the opposite side of that. That would be the end of the world as you know it. Uh, yeah, it's going to wipe out everything. Oh, uh, there were you know, earthquakes, floods, famine, pestilence, wonders in the sky, all kinds of stuff on from a biblical proportion there. Oh, uh, come to think of it. I mean, it would probably, something like that would actually probably cause us to shift our, not necessarily our distance of orbit, but our range of orbit you know, around the sun, which would probably cause us to go through uh, there's a storm coming. Uh, you can't even probably see the sun, there's so much dirt there. Wow. 
will probably cause us to go through meteor showers that we haven't experienced in a really long time, if ever. That would probably cause, I don't know, fire and brimstone. There's a hundred and one ways that God could do Tiawaki. So, uh, and there's really everybody says there's enough nuclear power on the planet to end the world. We give ourselves too much credit. The world's a pretty big place. A pretty big chunk of rock. Those circles that they draw on the map showing the detonations and stuff. Most of the planet doesn't even notice it. It just kills the people and animals. The animals elsewhere will eventually get back to it. If there's a nuclear war and a hundred deer survive, but no people, in a hundred years, there's a hundred thousand deer. Um, significant weather advisory. Significant weather about my land is I was offered four thousand an acre for it. Oh, Biddy Boo is yelling at me over here. I was sitting there looking down at the screen, so I didn't get distracted. I forty acres. Now I saw the 20 acres you sent me. Did you send me a link on that one? And if it's right next to a uh, freaking giant ammo dump, forget it. Uh, I don't want to be right next to ground zero. That's a bad plan. I actually fear giant glowing mushrooms. I have since I lived in Florida. <laughs> but I confess to that part of my life already. I believe in climate change. I don't think it's man-made, but I believe it's happening. Living through it. Sorry. Uh, ain't nothing right. Nothing is right. Nothing about the weather is right. And you can't say you don't believe in uh, man-made global climate change and then blame it on heart. Okay. Yeah. Bark at the same tree in two different dogs. If you're one dog. Wait. That's a horrible whatever I just did. Don't don't use that. Uh, it's you can't blame it on you can't blame the changing weather on secret government experiments and say that there's no such thing as man-made global climate change. Now, can you? I didn't think you. See, so many people out there with these conspiracy theories, they're just stupid. Now, some of them, like that moon poo thing, I can go with that because I've seen the moon poo. I don't know what it is, but I've seen it falls out of the sky and then it dries up and it goes away. It hasn't caused me any trouble. I don't know. Um, but I mean like that swamp monster. I have not been tipping over no cow turds in a long time. You don't have to tip them over, man. They're right there on top. Oh. 
Uh, I mean, I wouldn't know anything about that. Got to be out there when the dew's rising. Wouldn't know anything about that either. Be right back. I go get a call. Oh, yeah. Not doing that again. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what killed the whole Texarkana deal. Um, and God, wish she have told me about it. Probably swore the kids to secrecy. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't say a thing. I helped you pack and came home. Uh, later, Yetta. Um, and Biddy. Well, that's true until you try to re breathe in a room full of CO2. Yeah, die. Uh, I worked in CO2 fields before, and if there's a very big leak, it gets really hard to breathe. You get, you get stupid. There, it's, it's real. Um, but anyway, um, Biddy. I need to call you, but um, we're just looking. You know, if we find something, we I don't want to. We're not going to do anything in a rush, so don't don't work yourself to death on this, okay? Um, we're looking at okay. This is where did this come from? That way. Well, it needs to quit. Them beans ain't gonna like this. We ain't got no circly circles, do we? I don't really feel like dealing with a tornado right now. It's not in the mood. Yes, you you can. Now, Forty for fifty, man. Now might be some serious competition over that. Yeah, Abe got a new job. Oh, I didn't think about him missing this because he has a new job. Ow. Yeah, HCP logs in and then sits in the in the room and just reads and listens. I've got a few of those. Chipper's probably still in here too. Honestly, I ain't heard a word out of him. I gotta make to to check to see if Chipper's here. I gotta say something about him, uh, and you know stuff like give out his address or something like that. Or just remind people that if you ever made him. Uh, I mean, he, he's like all touchy feety. Um, it's like, come here, give me a big old hug. So preemptively, just walk up to him. He's going to reach out and act like he's going to shake your hand. He's just trying to trick you into a big old bear hug. Just run up there and get you some. 
I can get everybody on the planet to hug you to death. At times, he's been is for your own safety. If you get within distance, if you get if you get to that hula hoop, that's close enough for him to get his arms around you. So if you're that close, just go ahead and swing in and get you some. I just love you, Chipper, like that. Hey, Ben. Oh. Chipper's going to shoot me. What is this? Sick his dog on. Sick that little dog on me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I may not be fed up with the state of Texas yet, but I'm getting real fed up with my county. So. Too many people come in from blue, blue areas that are taking over Yes, Jake. He moves quick too. I don't know if y'all noticed it, but uh, we went to he, we went to a cave when we were in Arkansas, and this guy creeped around me the whole time we were in the cave. I didn't even know who this guy was. And boom, come to find out, it's his chipper. He's lurking the whole time. Yes, he. <laughs> He has a hula hoop on suspenders to design to find his safe space. Um, you can shake his hand. No huggies. That's just me. I have a special relationship with Tripper and with Bug. Uh, See there how do we need to recap anything else? Did I mention that man cannot cause the apocalypse? That we got a, a major storm blowing in, so my internet's going to get iffy. I got a radio transmitter. That's my internet. It's up really crazy. The wind actually interferes, believe it or not. Interferes with the uh, signal, and there's a bunch of dirt in the air now. So my, cell, my internet's probably gotten... Yeah, you know, hurricane force winds out there, which they're dying off a little bit now. I can see my tree. What's left of my tree? Okay, Biddy. Wow. 
Well, that's because they're talking about Ebola in the chat over there. It's not even my fault. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if y'all remember, what was it, two years ago? What's, has it been two years ago yet? That the guy just, you know, left his wallet and car keys and everything in his house and stripped down buck naked and jumped in the river and committed suicide over there at the CDC. All right, Chipper, have a good night. Look for us the 29th, around 5.30-ish. You're going to bounce to Swamp, Swamp Dude. snorkeling trip you don't want. Biddy, you need to go to the Smoking Locust channel and watch his uh, Looking for the Swamp Creature video. You'll like it. Trust me. Uh, and then he's, it's a uh, Smoking Locust and you go to uh, no, Looking for the uh, Swamp Monster, Swamp Creature or something. He periodically goes and looks for the swamp creature and then sometimes for the swamp spots. And it's really unnerving, and that's the kind of stuff I try not to think about. I haven't seen any pictures of these guys with these massive rolls of money. So, um... Yeah, I probably ought to get off here, too, because last time this started happening, next thing you know, power kept going out. Took a risk on losing my old, old situation over there. Uh, just dropped 10 degrees. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah, those guys. We weren't talking about dome housing. I actually like the idea of dome houses. Um, I've actually played around with in a pre-engineered, pre-engineered plans for a dome house. There, it would be surprisingly easy to build. But getting the, the funds for a starter like that would be insane. Um, and I'm not talking those snap together, all the funny cuts, wooden ones either. I'm talking about, uh, you know, when it comes to the house, you 
rent a forklift, you put a bunch of bolts in, then you pour some concrete and you're set. But, uh, yeah, that's one of those things. Take a lot of them. Danny, do you do videos on your deal? You put a, a lot of comments out about that stuff. Uh, he is probably... Quite honestly, I don't know where Rob is. Uh, if they had storms today, he's probably out electricianing. His line of work, whenever the storms come through, he has to go fix what the storm took out so they can go back into business. Uh, well, uh, I've seen a lot of dome houses out there. And so, and, one of the things that annoys me are these earth homes. Uh, those are temporary. Now, compressed earth homes, yeah. But a compressed earth home is flipping expensive. Your average Joe cannot afford one of those. Your average Joe does not have the equipment or the skill to build a compressed earth home. Okay? Just the way it is. I mean, that's uh, compressed earth and sandbags with crappy stuck on the outside of them are too completely different. Now, if you want to build an earth home, uh, you know, the, the earthen house or whatever, and then stucco the outside of it, with modern stucco, not the old stucco that the Aztecs used, but real stucco, the modern stuff, and not that polymer crap they sell as stucco, but I'm talking the one that's Portland cement and lime and all this other stuff that's really hard and resilient, and if you want to use that on the outside of it, yeah, okay. But you have to use it on the inside, too. They're As far as heating and cooling and stuff, yeah, they're great. The only problem is you have to be willing to limit. You have to be a minimalist. You cannot live in an earthen dome house that has 3,800 square foot. It can't support itself. So now you've got all the beams and wooden structures or metal structures or whatever it is to actually hold up the deal. So now you're living in a tomb, you know, if something goes wrong structurally or if there's a bad earthquake or something like that, you're going to be buried in dirt. So, uh, it's a good alternative if you want, if you need a place to lay down and go to sleep and a place to stay warm and play cards with each other and stuff like that if you're not. If everybody's bedroom is a different house, works really good. I've seen a couple of people that's done it like that. But still, why are you putting mud on the outside of your house? Why are you not putting something that's going to prevent or resist wind and rain and hail and stuff? I'm just saying. I killed it. Man, the other lightning's here now. Lightning and thunder. Dana, my email is on the about me. Why don't you email me? I don't do Facebook. I don't. Uh, Facebook and me had to run in a long time ago. I share. I still keep my thing open. I share people's videos on it every so often, but that's about it. 
I use it for shopping. Concrete works. Uh, and if you put uh, Portland cement and lye into your earthen mix and put it in forms and pack it, I mean, it's not going to be a compressed earth structure, but it will stay together long enough for you to get it finished and get the outside stucco. Uh, you can do your walls in that, and then if you did the dome in, uh, in concrete, because concrete will self-support. Okay? If you've got uh, wire mesh in it, and if you've got something to hold the concrete in place, which at the least, if you're putting it on the ceiling, you're going to want uh, one eighth inch steel plate with no more than a three foot span between supports. So you're still looking at a uh, materials cost, a relatively high materials cost. Now, if you're looking at something that you want for insulated value and uh, mass, you can do, uh, it's called uh, ad, you know, I mean, gyp creep. And you can put three times as much gyp creep on something for the weight as you can concrete. It doesn't have the mass of i.e. rad resistant as regular concrete but it actually possesses an insulated factor and then you can add the stucco for protection because uh gypcrete will not resist weathering so again if you use gypcrete you've got to cover the gypcrete with something that can Resist weather. So there you go. I don't need no sub in this spaceship. If I leave the planet, I'm I gonna pop the lid on the on the suit because I don't want to burn up on me. Hit you. Yeah, but aircrete has no structural integrity. Aircrete is lightweight, light duty stuff. It's not a structural member. You cannot build structural concrete out of air cream. It doesn't have it doesn't have a backbone. Um, it's really good insulation, but then again, and you could use air creep to a degree wet, you could use the air creep instead of the gyp creep. But, uh, you know, gypcrete will slow a bullet down, aircrete won't. So, you know, it's a balancing act. I mean, what do you want your, what, what is it, what is the purpose of your dome? The uh, real consideration for me in an earthen home is that uh, it's extra special UV resistant. Uh, it's got an excellent insulative factor. It has the ability to both reflect heat and retain heat. So in the wintertime, you can heat it up. And in the summertime, you don't have to worry about the 110 degrees from the outside getting into the there's give and take on both sides. Uh, 
I really wish I had a couple million dollars to throw at engineering the first couple of pop together dome homes, but you're not going to go to the bank and do it. I'll probably just build mine and let everybody else deal with it. Yeah, there's that too. You know, there's a reason you put this much concrete or cement and this much sand and this much uh, aggregate. It's just, there's a reason there's a balance there. There's a reason the cement has this much of this and this much of that and that much of this and everything. There's reason there. There's reason. If you ignore the reason, you're going to pay for it. But you're a lucky man. We were, what, 106 today? It ain't even June. Well, yeah, it's not even July yet. Why are we having mid-July temperatures in June? Really looking forward to August. Because it's gotten this hot forever. Man, we had a perfectly normal winter this time. You know, like how the, the new leaves had to push the old leaves off so they could butt out. I would love to come to PA and visit. I wish I could find somebody that owned a 30 or 40 acres up there with a little pond on it. Man. I would love to do 30 days on somebody's dirt. Um, uh, That would be a blast. Especially if it was within hiking distance of one of the quarries that's flooded, the abandoned quarries that's flooded. Quarries are full of flipping fish. You, you got here too early, Daniel. Uh, yeah, the birds were trying to warn you. They heard it from the bugs they were eating that the end is neat. And they're pretty sure they were trying to see near. What kind of quarry? There's, oh, is it limestone or uh, something else over there? Or y'all have that one big white rock that they drag out of the ground over there? What is it called? Works for me, Zach. Is that all? Man, I didn't know you were still trying to lose subscribers. I quit sending people over, man. My bad. You got to tell people things. 
I thought you were over that. Daniel, I didn't I didn't know it was still a thing. All right, David, we'll think about it. Oh, uh, I don't want to build no house out on the up on the water. Uh, everybody, Daniel is trying to make two thousand subscribers. Daniel got as much as he has like the best content. He's got this great sense of humor. He's like the a tactical wizard. He's got some of the funniest dogs and cat videos I've ever seen. If there is anybody on this planet that needs subscribers, that man right there. Just go over right next to his name. Three little buttons will pop up. Click go to the channel. Hit subscribe. Come back. Let him know you hit him up. He'll thank you from here to next Tuesday. <laughs> Love you too, Daniel. Hey, we're thinking about swinging up to Ohio, but you're cussing at me now. How, you've been on a blue subscriber deal for uh, a year now, man. How's that working out for you? Started out, you, I got 400 subscribers. I got to get rid of these people. I, hey, I, I never said you were. Uh, I didn't. I didn't guess you were pitching your channel. I didn't see anything where you were pitching your channel. I'm pitching Daniel's channel, though. But that's just because there you go. See, Daniel, there you go. There's one. Um, uh, we were throwing all the possible turnaround points onto the map. Putting y'all, putting, uh, since was it Cincinnati we threw in there? Because we didn't know exactly. Uh, dude, it was 49 and a half hours drive time. To make. Yeah, this is a lot of drive time. And we have to go through like Nebraska or something. I don't know. One of those boring states. It was Iowa. Zach, they'll do that. I mean, a lot of people come in and sub each other and stuff. Don't sweat it. I got a bunch of subs like that. They don't mean no. It took me forever to figure out how to spell nomenclature, by the way. I'm actually not that smart. Like 10 tries later. Uh, yeah, I, was, I was over in uh, Zach Fowler's live stream earlier trying to get his attention to ask him some questions about what he was doing in Canada and it occurred to me that I was uh, sounding it was almost sounding like I was trying to plug my channel so uh, finally got his attention and he started answering me I gotta, I gotta be careful what I say. I keep forgetting that he doesn't know me personally yet. So I'm hoping to rectify that. Um, really want to get to Canada, but it is a. I wish it was as hard across the. 
Texas Mexico border as it is across the Canadian border. Can't bring Rob. He's got a life outside of YouTube. He has to save his vacations to go places with his wife, just like me. Uh, well, I don't know. My wife's pretty cool. She's like, she tells me to go places all the time. I don't want to be, I don't enjoy being away from her that much, though, so I don't usually don't go. I did find that one place on the map, though. Uh, it's in Nevada. Ooh, I don't know. It's actually a hell in Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. She never tells me that. I have to bring my wife. She has a great friend. Oh. One of these days, I need to go see my sister and. Where's she live? Oregon or Port or Washington? One of those two. Oregon. Oregon. I need to go back to Oregon and see my sister. Oh. Uh, and that would be a good reason to uh hit people because that's the way we went. We went straight across through where all you people in Arizona and New Mexico and Nevada, well. Not the Nevada guy because he's up there like in a weird place. But then we drove right up. We drove right through the middle of California. I've offered her to take vacations from me. She's, I don't know, she's broken head. Maybe that's why she's telling me to go places, though. You could be right. I thought you said Jody left the state. Nah, I'm just joking. Yuck. You know, LS, just for you, I will take you into Fisher County. I will take you on a drive through Fisher County tomorrow and I'll upload the video. How's that? Not going into Kent County, them people's crazy. Man, Idaho is pretty. Oh, wait, it was dark. That's right, when we drove through there. We got into the high desert at uh, 9.30 in the evening. Sun was down. We drove all night and was out of the high desert before the sun come up. We didn't see any of it. Pennsylvania's got good fishing. I remember the fishing up there. I like fishing in Pennsylvania. I like fishing in Louisiana too, though. The lake fishing in Louisiana ain't that great, but if you can get off the beaten path, there's some real good fishing in Louisiana. Uh, get off the beaten path in East Texas, there's some good fishing. You got to be willing to step over a barbed wire fence, so.
but you got to understand the laws when you're stepping over a barbed wire fence. That barbed wire fence is to keep cattle in if it's on a major river. There is no such thing as trespassing on the first and second bank of a navigable river. You can't own the riverfront. Uh, you can if you can put a boat in it and float it you can't own the you cannot own the first and second bank well you cannot restrict access to the first and second bank to those navigating the water so yeah I can camp on your in your backyard. Rich people don't like that getting out, by the way. I've actually eaten it three or four times since I got home. It's I, I actually enjoy it. It's literally that good. I've cooked it a few different ways. I don't video all the stuff I cook. I do during the winter time, it seems like, because I'm cooking on a wood stove out back. Oh. Uh, which it's hard to fire. It's hard to justify firing up a wood stove when it's 100 degrees outside. Oh. Uh, now, I have been known to burn the beans. They're going to... I put it down on keep warm. <laughs> anyway, um, I have been known to cook on a barbecue pit for reasons. Um, but on the the cracked weed, it's actually it's really you can any, anything you do with uh, oats, like rolled oats, you're The oats you get at the store that been run over by a steamroller. You can do with cracked wheat. It just takes a little longer to cook it. Um, you can put honey in it. It's really good. Uh, I actually uh, to check, you know, because we were thinking about it. You know, could you use it to thicken a stew or whatever. I. Uh, made a soup a little little bit of soup for myself and i put uh the cracked wheat in there and let it simmer for a while with the cracked wheat in the soup so the soup so the the wheat would absorb the juices from the soup or whatever and it made the soup very filling and it was good so yeah cracked wheat when you realize that you can do more with wheat than make a loaf of bread, it becomes a super food. I mean, it's like, uh, and you can get the, wheat's really inexpensive as far as the other options for long term, term ah, spit it out, boy. As when compared to other forms of long-term food, wheat is insanely inexpensive. I mean, uh, you can buy wheat berries in vacuum-packed metal cans that have a best buy date of 25 years. That's a best buy date. So you're looking at 50 years before you got to sweat that that can of wheat as long as you keep it dry and cool. 
so and when you realize that it's actually pretty good stuff I've, I've had a couple of failures trying to make bread with it but uh I'll get it figured out I would I would say that MREs are something you would have to break the monotony. Uh, I don't believe you would want to eat MREs every day for a year. You can ask Wayne. Or one of the vets in here about eating MREs all the time. Pretty sure they're not that good. All right, there's your answer. Uh, be aware that uh, and to prove a point, I found some more corn and stuff that is on a shelf that is from 2004 best by date 2004 I'll go get some of it and I'll eat it there's probably enough that I could probably eat a week on it and let's see if it kills me or if I lose weight or if I get sick uh, if I do y'all have to support my wife in my absence uh, So, I mean, the best buy date just means that that's when, after that, it's no longer, it can no longer be guaranteed to be at the peak of its freshness. In other words, they want you to throw it out and get new stuff. I wouldn't trust a best buy date for nothing. You know, if it says discard after, like, you know, the stuff in the, in the dairy section, and you say, ah, it'll be fine, and you open it up, and all of a sudden you need peaches to drink your milk because now it's cottage cheese, that's on you. Uh -oh. You tried hard to sell all that, that uh, dome home thing, man. Right? So, uh, DJ Chinatown, you're asking some pretty good questions. Uh, Massa flour is basically ground up hominy ish uh i said ish calm down all y'all people uh, it is a really good food source there's actually more calories available to the human body in massive flour than in cornmeal the uh thing they do with the lye or whatever breaks the uh, cell walls so it's easier to digest okay if it's kept cool and dry and vacuum sealed it keeps for a really long time will it last as long as wheat no it will not uh, but neither will flour. You can vacuum seal flour and keep it for a really long time, but it's still eventually going to quit because the natural state of it, its existence has been altered. It's no longer a seed. 
it's you know things are engineered after they're broken by nature to be reconstituted back into the circle of life so they have a built-in timer when it loses the ability to become a new plant it it starts to break down no matter what you do but uh shelf life wise if you want to put something somewhere and forget about it it's the wheat if you eat mess of flour you know by all means have a stockpile of it rotate uh off the front you know use the newest or i mean use the oldest store the store the newest Keep rotating out. Keep more mess of flour than you can eat in a month or two or three. Mess of flour is really inexpensive. Little known fact about the wood beard is there's, uh, he's literally gluten intolerant. Oh. Uh, which is interesting when it comes time to eat. Um, I know a little bit about gluten intolerance because my wife is gluten intolerant. I, on the other hand, can eat wheat all day long. She can eat it in small quantities. There are other people that can't. Uh -oh. Slice of toast to put your sister in the doctor's office, won't it? She can't take it at all. Ah, eh, you need to be a prepper, DJ. At least be reasonably prepared for a short term emergency. That, in reference, the, every government out there says you should at least have two weeks worth of groceries in your house. For you and everybody else that plans to eat. Because things go bad. Um, they're still having trouble in Panama City... Florida, and what was that, six months ago, nine months ago, something like that. You know, you can add stuff to... Uh, As long as you don't put the milk products and stuff in them, you can take the potato, the dehydrated potato stuff, and mix stuff into them, and then re-dehydrate it. Yeah. And uh, you can make some rather interesting little cakes. Um, Basically, you make uh, you use it for your starch substitute in making like different uh, pemmicans or uh, granola bars or whatever. Yeah, a mature prepper is a homesteader. Or a homesteader is a person that just likes to work all the time. Can I see 103? I will, I will make the wife remind me to call you tomorrow. And I will email you tomorrow also, Biddy.
And I ain't calling by his name today. Seven thirty, eight thirty, nine thirty. I'm going on. I'm already over the two hour mark again. I had set myself a goal. I was going to do an hour chat and then kill it. That never worked. Why has that ever worked for me? Nobody ever offers to do it after chat. After show. I'm trying to figure out how I keep you people in the chat room for this long. I mean, I'm really not that interesting. I tried talking to my wife, and she goes to sleep after 30 minutes. Wow. Um, I'm going to plug Patreon. There's actually something over there that's worth the buck today. This time, I think. Um, there's, I don't know, 15 minutes or so of found footage over there from our trip to uh, San Antonio. I literally didn't remember the camera being on. None of us did. Hard tech is actually pretty um that gummit now I had his name ran through my brain. I was gonna say it. He shows you how to cook with the oven made out of dirt after he shows you how to build it. Mrs. West pulled the plug. Yeah, yeah, she's been, she's told me a couple times. Uh, just for the record, I've still got it sitting here because I'm going to show it off until the end of time. For the best apricot preserves ever. You should try these. They're a little runny. Just makes them easier to spread on the bread. Stuff is so good. I'm not going to be able to put any of it to storage. Somebody keeps eating it. I don't know who that is. She just goes just to snoozing. Oh, she's actually, she likes y'all. I like it when she gets involved and starts talking over the microphone. But she got a headache today. Yeah. That's my number next. I think I'm going to... Uh, I've got some apricots left. I'm thinking about juicing them, for lack of a better word. And I have, uh-oh, camera disappeared there. Ah, 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 that's a good one, Daniel. I like that. That's funny. Uh, anyway, if I take the um, apricots, and the gallon and I put them together with the yeast that I have I wonder what would happen so I bought the gallon of honey for a specific reason bought the five gallon bucket for a specific reason and then 
I was going to do it with uh, cactus berries, but then I let the sun get away from me. Still got the honey, still got the bucket. Now I have apricots. So, would it be brandy or would it be apricot mead? I think it would be mead. Or hoot, one of the, whatever it is, it's probably gonna light me up. Um, give me something to drink beside a vodka. Oh no, I'm not gonna. I wouldn't do that. That would be rough. Um, now I'm just going to make me. Uh, I've had. Uh, I've had peach hooch before. And. Uh, that strawberry hooch. Um, I've had straight corn whiskey and that stuff is fire in a glass. Um, I've never had banana brandy. Oh, that would be the other one. The uh, I had some hooch berries once. But after I took the drink, the guy was like, oh, yeah, by the way, you're supposed to put water in that first. Thanks for the heads up. That's a common problem with alcohol. I think it alcohol can, uh, is a substance that takes through. Unless you store them in a locked cabinet with your I hear thunder again, people. Uh, but with that, I just looked at the clock, and this is, let me see here. We're looking at, I'm looking at at least two and a half hours. Yep. Be two and a half hours. I am going to let y'all go because there's another storm coming in. And this is probably the one that's going to knock the power out. So, um, God bless y'all. Y'all stay alive. Don't die. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for all the questions and the input. Uh, y'all welcome to come back tomorrow night. Uh, step one survival as a, uh, live stream he does he does it on his patreon account now because he's done dealing with trolls 
and other stuff. So, uh, it's a buck a month. You can go to live streams. There's a really good crowd. Almost everybody over here, I think, is a, a patron. But after he gets through with his stream, I go live on Saturday nights. So, you're welcome to come back, hang out. Um, I'll try to go with something fun. And y'all, next time y'all see uh, LS in here, who is a very nice young woman, uh, y'all give her a thank you because she's actually the one to come up with tonight to talk about. Right? God bless y'all. Y'all sell out. Do not die. All right? I'll think about it, Dana. I gotta I gotta see Idaho Joe one of these days anyway. Alright? Love all you people. 